This uh, video is going to be about heating your windshield washer fluid. Heating your windshield washer fluid for winter operation. Uh, for the, I'm just going to kind of break, uh, make this short here. For a long time, for a real long time, I've been trying to figure out uh, how to keep that ice or something to assist in keeping that ice in the winter time off of them blades. You know how like when you're driving in the snow to get all that snow and ice gets built up on your blade and you're doing the wind to pop thing to break that ice off and you can't see or anything so you're having to pull over and then pop them and all that. Your windshield washers freeze up and stuff. That little lines freeze up and all that stuff. But I've been looking, I tell you, I've been looking. And uh, remember, here's an, one trick. Here's one trick to keep them little lines from freezing up or to assist in keeping them from freezing up. On the Templar, what I do is, and on my other trucks too, this is old school, is that uh, in my reservoir, I put denatured alcohol in there. Now you can buy it at Walmart, the clear stuff. Don't get that pink color to the blue color stuff. Get the clear stuff, okay? And uh, I've only got a gallon reservoir on the on the uh, the Templar. So what I do is I get one of them little bottles, little bottles, and I put about a half of that bottle in that gallon. And what I do is as I'm going down the road and it's really cold, I keep every once in a while I just tap it so it shoots that fluid up and through there. And it assists, I'm going to say it again, it assists in from keeping those little lines fill, uh, uh, from freezing up and them little, little holes on the end of the windshield washer thing there. And that alcohol will also melt some of that ice, you know, right where you're spraying it. It'll kind of keep some of that ice off of them blades there a little bit, especially right there in the middle or a little bit. So you can kind of look out. Yeah, <clears throat> that's what it does. But for the longest time, I've been looking for a blade or something that will keep that ice off of them, off them blades, uh, you know, from building up, the snow from building up on those blades across the edges there. And I'm going to tell you, I've tried about every blade out there on the market. They say they're super good and all that. I spent some money testing them out. And they, they work a little bit, but I want something that works better, okay, a lot better. You always end up popping them windshields anyway. So I keep looking, I kept looking until I come up, well, last, uh, this, about January time frame, I think it was, February time frame, I saw this, this apparatus to, that, to heat that windshield washer fluid up. And that one there in the box, it says it heats that fluid up until 150 degrees. Mm-hmm, that's pretty damn hot. And the first thing that crossed my mind was, if you put hot water on a cold windshield, you're going to bust it. You're going to crack the shit out of it, man. And I kept thinking about that. I kept thinking about it before I bought this thing. And after I thought about it, I was thinking, well, man, I got the, the defroster blowing up on that window, trying to keep that ice off of there. And it's warm inside my truck, so that glass is a little warm, too. It's not real warm, but it's warm. So I'm thinking, hmm, it may not crack it. Now remember, I drive the Templar. The Templar is a 379 cab. I got them little square windows, you know, they're flat. It's got a split in the middle of it, and they're flat. And uh, I said, I'm going to try this. I'm going to try this. I'll take the risk to see if it busts my windshield or not, cracks it. So anyway, I went ahead and ordered one of them up and looked at it. And uh, I said, okay, we're going to put it in there. And I got a hold of my mechanic. And uh, he helped me get it installed and everything, cut all the wires and stuff. And we wired it in and all that good stuff, put a little switch on it and stuff. And I'll be damned. Uh, it does. It kind of helps. It does. It doesn't keep it off there completely. But it does assist. That hot water assists in getting that stuff off of that ice, keeping that ice off there for a little bit. It don't eliminate it. But it definitely gives you a little bit longer driving time out there. Mm -hmm. I'm going to have a shot of coffee here real quick. Yeah, I'm sitting here in a motel room right now. I got Templar in the shop over at Peterbilt getting some stuff done to it. Mm -hmm. Got to get it fixed up ready for that cold weather. And it's already cold out there, I'm going to tell you right now.
But anyway, what I did was I took a video of it last year when I first installed it. And it was super cold outside, and I was washing, you know, turning it on and off and playing with it. And I took a video of it to show you the steam coming off. Yeah, steam coming out of them windshield wiper blades. Whoa. <laughs> I was thinking going to crack a window. It didn't do it. So anyway, and I reposted that up onto, the, onto our YTTA network. And I'll be dang, man, it got a bunch of views, a whole bunch of views. And I got the same comments that I got last year. It's going to bust that window. It ain't busted it yet. And it, in that box was that piece of paper that said it would heat that water up about 150 degrees. That's right. But now then, that's one, only one of these little apparatuses. And I got it, you know, like how you spli you cut your wire, your, your tube there, and then plug it in and all that stuff, and it shoots up through two tubes to your windshield. So I got a hot water going to both of them, but it's splitting between the two, mm -hmm. between the two windshield wiper blades. And... Uh, I was thinking, okay, if one of them works, I'm going to try a second one. But this time, I'm going to wire one of them for the driver's side and one of them for the passenger side. That's right. And you guys know how always one blade works better than the other one. Usually, it's the passenger side. I'm trying to get the driver's side to work just as good as the passenger side. That's right. So, I ordered up another one. And I said uh, over there on YTTA Network, that I was going to go ahead and do a real quick video on it. So I just picked, I ordered this up and got it in my mailbox when I came into the yard here. So that's what this video is for. And I'm going to show you this one. Now this one here, is a, it's, it looks the same. But it, on the paper it says it only heats it up to 120 to 133 degrees. So they must have cut the temperature down on them a little bit. So I'm going to show you this, and then I'll go out to, well, when I get the temperature back, I'll go ahead and take a video of where I mounted it and how I mounted it. Uh, but the deal is with the second one, we're going to have to get to the mechanics so we can figure out how to run that second line. We're going to have to take the line. We're going to have to do something. I don't know, because that one line goes up into the dash there. One line splits into two, and it splits into two inside the dash, and I don't know where that's at. And I ain't tearing the dash apart trying to hook two things in, so me and my mechanic, we're going to have to talk, yeah, how to do that. And I'm going to try to put a little bit bigger line on it, too, so I can flood that driver's side. Mm, I want some water on there this year. But when I say this, th I show you this thing, I want you to remember that it assists. It only assists in keeping that ice off, uh, especially on the ends, on the very ends of the wiper blades there. It builds up there. It builds up. I don't care what you do. It's going to build up or whatever I can do now. Okay. And I still have to stop once in a while. Pop them blades. Pop them blades. You know, to get that ice off there. But anyway, it does work. Okay. When it comes to windshield wiper blades, the best I have personally found. Okay. This is me. This is the only blade I'll buy anymore. And there's a couple reasons for that. I buy the brand. Now, I'm not getting paid for any of this. I'm on a disclaimer. I'm not getting paid for any of this. YTTA is out there to help truck drivers out. And that's what we do. Okay? Help each other out the best we can. Anyway, the best blade I found, me personally, for me, other guy might talk about another blade being the best. But for me, as I use the Bosch, Bosch blades, I love them Bosch blades. Okay? They make a summer one and they make a winter one. Now that summer one, the uh, the winter one is more rubber around it and protecting them little metal parts and stuff, you know, to push down on the windshield. I like the winter one in the winter time. That that little rubber assists in keeping that ice off of them. It, that's all it does. It assists. It's going to get there anyway. I don't care what you do. And summer ones work good in the in the summertime. The ones without that on there, okay. And I will only buy the Bosch. And I tell you what, they seem to last longer, too. They seem to last a little bit longer. Help scraping them bugs off. That's another thing. Uh, this apparatus, this little heater tank, uh, it helps. It seems like it to me in the summertime. It helps that hot water. If I turn it on, I was experimenting with it, you know. It, it assists getting that dirt off of there. You know, like hot water gets dirt off better than cold water. And it helps 
squish them bugs around a little bit better? It does. It really does. I think it does help. It assists. Okay. With that being said, there's been a lot of guys put a lot of negative and hate stuff up there on it. But I don't care. I don't care. I'm just telling you what I know. I'm trying to assist you guys. The thing works for me. I mean, it assists. And it's a little expensive. The little thing costs about a $100 bill. Mm-hmm. It sure does. Okay, yeah. But anyway, I got the temper in the shop, so I have to apologize for the quality of the video. I'm using my cell phone to take this thing. And uh, I got my camera in the truck, and it's out the shop right now. But I wanted to get this out and try to get it out by the mall, get it all edited and stuff, and get it out to you. So anyway, with that being said, once I post this thing, if there's any questions about this little thing, make sure you leave me a message, I message me or something, or leave a comment. And I'll try to get to each and every one of them comments there. Okay, now I'm going to have to reverse this camera. This lighting's not really good here in this motel room. But I'm going to unbox this thing, and I'm going to tell you about the parts and some things that you got to do if you buy one of these, okay, or some things that I've done. Okay, let's get the camera reversed here. I hope it'll reverse anyway. If not, I'm going to have to stop the camera and get it reversed somehow. Mm, it's not going to do it. Anyway, I'm going to have to turn it off, and I'll get right back to you. Okay, here it is. Uh-huh, here it is. This is the box for it. That's right. And here's the brand name of it, Alpha Thermal. Alpha Thermal. And right there it says, if you can read it, see safety. Mm -hmm. See the safety difference. Total vehicle for total safety on all seasons. That's right. Mm -hmm. Gives you a little description of what it does and stuff like that. Now let's go ahead and open this little box up. Now I'm going to leave a, a link. I hope I can leave a link to it in the description box here to where you can order these uh, from the company themselves. Okay, we got the box open here. Yeah. She comes with the instruction manual and all of that stuff. Yeah, she sure does. Let's turn around on the light here. You get your cables. Mm -hmm. Cables and your apparatus here. Now notice that fuse right there. That's a 35 amp fuse. This puppy needs to be wired to your batteries. It has to be wired to your batteries. That's right. It's got to be because it's pulling a lot of amps, okay? And this is it. This is the tank right there. That's what does it. Mm -hmm. What you do is you take your line and you plug them in. Input and output. This comes in from your tank. And this goes out to your windshield washers. I mean, out to your windshield wiper blades. That's right. And this little puppy right here is where that water gets heated up and shoot it out. When you hit that windshield washer on your steering column there, it'll shoot it right out. They even give you a little bit of hose here, pretty thick hose. They give you a little mounting bracket and some other little do wops there. And that instruction is right in this manual right here. That's all it is to it. That's it. But this puppy has got to be wired into your battery. Oh, and that's the way it works the best. Okay. Now, that's another shot of it. This is the tank. This is the part that gets really hot. Uh-huh. Yeah, it does. Uh-huh. We're going to put her back in the box. And this hose right here is a little bit thicker than what's on the templar right now. It's a little bit thicker. Me and my mechanic are going to try to make that a little bit bigger hole, a hose there so I can put a big dump on that window. So it comes with everything you need. It's got the instructions on it, how to do it, what to do, where to, how to wire it up, and all that stuff. And if you notice this time, or that I didn't notice this last time I had one, it actually shows the way you uh, plug it in, all that good stuff. And it shows for truck, big trucks right there. Unit installation diagram for heavy trucks and semi-trucks and buses. It's got two of them. They didn't have that in the last manual, if I remember correctly. But what I'm going to try to do is I'm going to try to run two lines. One, two, and then two up to the windshields. That's right. Each, one, each wiper's got its own. That's right. But right now, there's only one line running up there. So we're going to try to fix that up. That's right. And there's one thing. Let me turn this camera back around. Okay. Got okay. Got the, the the camera turned back around again, man. These iPhones or something else. But anyway, what I wanted to say was, my mechanic 
everybody's got their mechanic. Everybody's got their special guy that they go to that they can trust. And I got well, I got a couple of them, three of them across America, four of them maybe, that I trust in a couple shops, a couple, three, four shops that I really trust to go to. This one here now, I don't know about this Peterbilt dealer. I had to bring the truck back. Yeah, mm -hmm. that's what I'm sitting in a motel room for. I don't think they put them new guys on my Templar. I don't know about that, man. But anyway, what I did with a Templar, and I'll show it to you when I take a video of it here, when I get it back, I'll show you how I got it mounted in the truck. What I did was... Uh, I, I put a switch on it. Me and my mechanic put a switch on it because I got it wired straight to the battery so I can get all the juice I can into it because that uh, 35 amp fuse there, that's pretty big. You don't need some juice to eat that water up. Yeah. So we put a switch on, an on and off, a toggle switch, an on and off switch on it so I can turn it off when I want to. When I don't need it, I turn it off and that's it. It's turned off and it's not working. Another thing, this little puppy will only give you uh, the manual says uh, three seconds of hot water, three seconds of that hot water, but that's uh, that's quite a bit. Three is a good squirt, okay? One thousand one, one thousand two, one thousand three is hot, okay? It come out hot, okay? And then it says it'll take I think twenty to thirty seconds for recovery. That means it'll go from cold to hot. This one here says it only goes up 120, 133 degrees hot. But it takes 20 to 30 seconds to recover to get that water back up there hot again. Once you're not hitting that button to be on that thing. But it, the other one is about the same way. You just get a short shirt, a, squ a short shirt, <laughs> a short squirt of water up there. But that's enough. That's enough to assist. Well, remember, I put that alcohol in there too. That helps melt that ice a little bit. Okay, and when I'm getting them all built up, I'm hitting that thing a lot of times. That little gallon I got <laughs> don't last very long. I carry extra couple gallons of extra, that's for damn sure. But anyway, uh, like I say, I've got it wired in separate with a switch on it. And remember the seconds. It don't give you that much, but it works for me. It assists. It doesn't completely eliminate it. It assists. And another thing is, it hasn't broken my windshield yet. But I'm, I'm taking that risk. If it breaks it, I have to take it to the shop and get it repaired. Okay? But it helps me. Okay. Uh, any questions on that thing, make sure that you leave me a comment or iMessage me and I'll get, you, I'll get back to you. That's right. And I'll also try to leave a link in the description box down here as to their website or you can order it from there. And one young man that I was out here talking to over to the... the um, when I bought, got it out of the mailbox, opened up to see what it was. One guy said he saw him over there at a chrome shop in, uh, damn. Yeah, he said he saw it at the chrome shop. This is when I was over the prime terminal over the Millennium Building over there. He said he saw those at Iowa 80 Truck Stop. Iowa 80 Truck Stop in Iowa. That's right. Over in Iowa. That big, the world's biggest truck stop. He said he saw them over there, but he didn't even know what they was, and he wasn't going to mess with it. But anyway, I don't. he didn't give me a price, but they cost you right at $100. Right at $100. Sound a little expensive? That's okay with me. If it assists, it assists. What I would like to do, and if I can find a good one, I'd like to try now, take one of those electric blades, the ones that have that little wire across there that gets hot, and boy, it'll burn your fingertip, I tell you that much, if you touch it. Yeah, and you wire that in, too. I'd like to have me one of them, if I can find another really good one that's got the rubber around the blade over the metal parts. I'd like to try one of those with this and see what see if that would, you know, two things working together might really help. But it gets on the ends now. Remember that eye still gets on the ends? you got to pull over. Pop her again to get it off. I don't know what they're going to do about that. But I did see on the internet, and I wish somebody would help me. Or help me find it. And if you know where it is uh, on the internet, I like to try to get a hold of these people. I saw a guy that said he had an apparatus. It was on the internet, and had a little like uh, video of it. I don't remember if it's a YouTube or not. It was on a Jeep, on one of the Jeeps. And that blade was shaking, like it was shaking. 
and he said it worked pretty good. It wasn't in production at the time, and he said he was looking for some people to uh, help him sponsor it or something. I don't know. But that blade would shake instead of setting still, ever how he did it. I have no idea. And he had a little demonstration showing what ice on it, and he was shaking it off and all that stuff. But it could have been a joke. I don't know. I'd like to get a hold of that guy. And I'd like to try that with this and might have something. But it's a, he had it mounted on a Jeep. I don't remember what he called it. I think he called it the Shaker Mover or something like that. I can't find it anymore. I don't even know if the video exists anymore. But it's on a Jeep, and he talks about it. And right down in the description, it's on a, it's on a real web page, a full-blown web page. And it shakes. And it shakes. The blade itself is shaking. So if anybody knows where that is or what the web address is to it, hit me up. I'd like to talk to him or look at it anyway. Remember, I'm not getting paid for any of this. I do not sponsor these people. These people do not sponsor me. This is just something to assist you. When I get the Templar back out of the shop, I'll show you how I got it mounted in the Templar. So uh, probably get the Templar back tonight, maybe tomorrow morning. I don't know. And I'll put this video up as soon as I can. Have a good one till then. Check you later. All right. All right. You got the Shadow Wolf back at you now. I got the Templar out of the shop. Yeah, I got him out of the shop. I sure did. But anyway, to continue on, I'll show you where this uh, little heater thing fits right here, like I was talking about right there. And that's it right there. That's the way we're, where we got it installed on the firewall right there. Now, like I said, these are your wires right here. These are your electrical wires for it right here. You got your positive over here and your negative one over there. And they run all the way down into the batteries down there. Yeah, and this is the pump right there. That's the heater. That's the heater. And this is where the inline comes and the outline. And the outline goes all the way up and around and the down. And then it goes up to your windshield washers there on, on your windshield wipers up there. And that's where I'm going to have a problem is splitting this over here at the reservoir and then running two. And if you notice, there's not much room right here, but I'm gonna see if my man there, my mechanic, well, my metal guy can actually make me a bracket. We're gonna try to put two tanks on here. So I got one for the passenger side, and then one for the driver's side. That way I got two gallons, or maybe put a little bigger tank on there, but I don't think I can get a bigger tank on the damn thing. But that's it, that's it, uh-huh. That's where I mounted it up on the firewall. And we'll probably have a little problem putting the second one in. Probably had to put it in up here, over here someplace. That's it. And like I said, I put a switch on it, and that's the little target switch. That'll be on, and that'll be off. And boy, you flip that baby off, she starts getting warm real quick. Oh, yeah, she get warm. <laughs> yeah. But anyway, you can run this one wire up the ignition here someplace so it doesn't work until you turn the ignition on, too. So anyway... That's what we got, and that's what works it, and that's what throws that steam up there on them wipers. That's right. Uh-huh. So anyway, y'all have a good one, and uh, be safe, be safe, and may the Lord bless each and every one of you. We'll catch you later.